Well, when most people think of public housing, they may think of a person living in poverty, unable to support themselves, or parents unable to provide housing for their family. In Albany, however, that may not be the case. Fox 31's Courtney Highfield joins us live in the studio with a story you'll only see on Fox 31. Courtney? Right, Rami, we found it pretty hard to believe that some people in public housing make 30, 40, even $50,000 a year. So I sat down with the Housing Authority director today to find out how that's even possible. Fox 31 requested a list of every single tenant's income that lives in Albany public housing, and we found 11 tenants making over $40,000 a year. We spoke to the director of the Albany Housing Authority, Dan McCarthy, who was surprised but also able to justify some of those numbers. Do any of these numbers shock you looking at the list? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I, when I looked at the list, I did not expect to see that. Uh, mostly because what I generally do is look at the overall, and again, looking at our average incomes and our average rents. Um, the average tenant in public housing is below the poverty line, but we do have some outliers like that. The outlier he's referring to is the tenant bringing in $59,226 a year. This is the highest income on the list. McCarthy said they do look at income when considering a person for housing, and had their income been this high when they were applying, they would have been denied. They have just recently become employed, and they were also receiving Social Security disability, and now because of their employment, they'll lose their disability, so that their income is going to go, go back down once that disability goes away and then we'll recalculate their situation uh, once that occurs. A few years back, the Housing Authority had a policy that every tenant's rent was 30% of their income, but when income increased, that became a problem. Their income has increased such that 30% of their income would probably be a, a rent level that they would say, well, I'm not going to stay in public housing and paying that rent. And in an effort to try to retain some um, some families who are working hard at trying to improve themselves and um, give us some good social fabric in the neighborhood, we instituted the flat rents or market-based rents. McCarthy says according to the law, they aren't allowed to evict anyone based on a high income. However, what they can do is encourage them to look elsewhere for housing. And after we pointed out the high incomes, they're planning on taking a second look at their policy. We are looking now with, um, with HUD of, of doing a thing called a transition of our housing from the public housing model to the multifamily housing model. Uh, it's really esoteric kind of stuff within a funding uh, scenario, but it does bring different rules to it. And one of the rules they have in the multifamily is they do not have flat rents. And if you didn't have a flat rent, uh, this issue wouldn't be, be present because the folks making those kind of incomes couldn't afford the rent. With a waiting list of 3,024 people, the Housing Authority hopes to relook at their policies in the near future in an effort to get some of those people with lower incomes housed. Tomorrow we'll tackle this same topic, but in Lee County, so you'll want to make sure to tune in. Romney, back to you.